If you want to have a good fundamental understanding of how to do things on the Minilog, it's really helpful to have an idea of the basics of subtractive synthesis. Subtractive synthesis is a concept that means you're taking a basic waveform. So in this case, using one of these VCOs to create a waveform like a triangle wave or something like that. And you're using a whole bunch of different devices, controls, and things on the keyboard to allow you to subtract or remove parts of the sound to give you a finished product of a different sound. I like to think of subtractive synthesis like a sculptor. Imagine you're Michelangelo and you're starting with a giant granite slab or marble slab and you've got a hammer and a chisel and Michelangelo is going to make a sculpture of a human being. So he'll look at that and then just chip away with the chisel anything that doesn't fit his vision of what a human being should look like. A lot of time he's chipping away things that look like arms, right? <laughs> anyway, subtractive synthesis is a lot like being a sculptor. You are an artist, but you're a synthesist. And what you're doing is you're taking this raw material of an oscillated sound, so a little spinny device that's creating noise for you, or sound, and you're using various elements of the synth to reach up, grab frequencies of that sound, and pull it out. And what's left is your sculpture, your finished sound. So think of the subtractive synthesis concept as you've got a starting position that has a root or raw material, and then you've got many different choices of devices to alter that starting point. So I start with something that has an entire triangle wave in it, and I use different elements to take away parts of that sound and get what I don't need out of there at different rates and different time variances, and what I'm left with is my sound. You've got some effects and things like that that may not be necessarily part of the subtractive synthesis paradigm, but, you know, it's a modern synth. It's going to have some effects and some bells and whistles and things that you can add to your sound as well. But subtractive synthesis means basically taking away frequencies that are unwanted from the sound to create something entirely new.